Hey, smart humans. Today, I have a tip for you to get through the holidays. And it may not be what you <laughs> think tips to get through the holidays are, because I'm not going to talk about ways to be more efficient, to get things done faster, et cetera, et cetera. I'm actually going to talk about the feelings. So are you ready for this? Mostly, we are taught when growing up to actually ignore our feelings, especially when they are on the not so positive spectrum, right? So when we're feeling sad, someone will tell us, oh, don't be sad, have some candy, or don't be so angry, calm down. So whatever is happening with us emotionally, we are taught from a very young age that if it's not happy, joyful, or calm, we should hide it. It shouldn't be there. And that is actually really hurtful because it's saying that what is happening in our bodies something we don't actually have much control over isn't right and that we have to push it away and hide it. It's also exhausting, as you may have noticed, right? So in the run-up to the holidays, many of us are experiencing lots of different emotions. I have to say, I'm very happy every day to open up my Advent calendar. And I'm also very sad when I think, for example, about my dad, you know, having passed away many years ago, but I still miss him very much during this time of year. So I have the whole like range of emotions. And if I'd only allow the joy and push away the sadness, and maybe the frustration or my anxiety about stuff I still have to do, I would have to work so hard. And I get very tired, like just managing all that and staying friendly and nice and happy and productive, or at least seemingly productive on the outside. Yet this is what most humans do. And we can stop that. We don't need to do that anymore, right? So I want to ask you, I want to offer you to when you start feeling very stressed, tired, whatever it is in the run up to the holidays, or maybe even during the holidays, to just stop, sit down and ask yourself, what is it that I'm not willing to feel? What feeling wants to be felt, right? What is happening right now in my body? And how can I make some room for it? And if this freaks you out completely, if you're like, hey, Kramer, <laughs> this is not happening, because if I sit down to do this, I will start crying and I will not be able to stop. Then I have to tell you that, first off, like many of my clients tell me this, I used to think this, I open, if I opened this box of Pandora, that, you know, I would not be able to contain all the emotions that I've been hiding so, for so long inside, but it actually is not like that at all. You do have agency. So you can just sit down, set a timer for five minutes and allow the feelings and then just tell yourself like, okay, right? And now there's some stuff I'm going to do and I can still feel the sadness or whatever it is or the anxiety. I'll just bring it with me during my day, right? But now I'm going to take my focus somewhere else. And this is so much more productive and so much less of an energy drain than constantly trying to push all your emotions away, pretending you're this superhuman, I don't know, Stepford wife, robot type of person who just doesn't feel anything and keeps going all the time. And oh, Christmas is so wonderful. Do not do that to yourself. And also do not do it to the other humans around you. Because once you start doing this, you will also be able to allow other people to feel their emotions show up as they are. And that is going to be <laughs> a recipe for a much more loving Christmas. So yeah, maybe sometimes you want to cry. Maybe sometimes you're very anxious about turkeys or whatever it is you're anxious about. <laughs> That's okay. That's what you get to experience as a human being. And if you make room for that, you also make room for so much more joy on the flip side. So give that a try. Let me know how it goes. And happy holidays. Bye.